Hmm, nerd, did you know you were the only one? Huh? I was studying when a well-built, handsome guy came up to me. It was Fujishima-kun, the most handsome guy in this here. Erm, um, what are you talking about? So you don't know? You're the only one who doesn't have a girlfriend in this class. No, you're the only one who doesn't have a girlfriend in this entire year. It's because you only study. Why do you study so much? Are you stupid? I'm always the second smartest because of you. You're in my way, you stupid introvert. Oh, okay. You're crazy. You even study during the breaks. Normal people talk to their friends about games or use their smartphones to kill time. But we've got a quiz coming up. I have to prepare for it. So you can stay as a scholarship student? Huh, I hate poor people like you. You're from a fatherless family, right? Those kind of remarks hurt me a lot, but rich people never seem to understand that. It wasn't my mom's plan to become a single mother. I didn't choose to be born in a family like this. Apparently, my dad was very handsome, but he was also a player. I heard that my mom had a hard time living with him. There was a time when a pregnant lady came to our house saying that she was pregnant with my dad's child. My dad was working, but he never paid for us. He gave all of his money to a young beautiful girl. My family couldn't afford to buy a video games, so I kept studying. Textbooks were my friends. I couldn't talk to my friends because I knew nothing about video games, so textbooks were my only friends. But there was one girl who understood my situation very well. That was Hinata, my childhood friend. Hinata was from a motherless family. Her mom died of cancer when she was little, so Hinata was having a tough time without a mother. She was the same as me. No one could understand our hardships unless they came from a one-parent household. There was a time when mothers were invited to a class to watch their children study in school. Hinata was made fun of the fact she didn't have a mom from other girls. I tried to defend her, but I was too weak, and the girls never stopped making fun of her. But Hinata never cried in front of those vulgar girls. Hinata was a beautiful girl, and the girls were jealous of her. Hinata's weakness was merely an opportunity to bring her down. My classmate who sat next to me told me about why Fujishima-kun picked on me so much. Fujishima-kun goes to the same cram school as me and he does the same there. He's so desperate to bring other smart people down. Apparently, his mom is obsessed with his education and she wants him to be at the top all the time. My grades are worse than Fujishima-kun so he doesn't pick on me. But the way he talked to you, it doesn't feel great to hear even if it wasn't about me. Like that girlfriend thing, he really should leave you alone. Well, yeah, but I kind of want a girlfriend. Really? You don't look like you want one. You seem like you're super focused on your study. N no, I actually do want a girlfriend. I'm a guy after all, and I'm really jealous of other classmates. I murmured without thinking much, and that was when Hinata came near me. Shinji, I heard that. Hmm? You want a girlfriend? Are you serious? She heard it? Hinata was in the corner of the classroom talking to her friends. She stopped talking to them and came to us. Wait, Yamabuki. Why is Hinata Tachibana calling you by your first name? Are you two really close? My classmate was so surprised, so I told him that she was my childhood friend. And... She's your childhood friend? Really? I'm so jealous of you. We had a seat change recently, so the guy who sat next to me didn't know much about our relationship. I knew Hinata was popular amongst the boys because she had been beautiful all the time. But since we started high school, she was becoming even more beautiful. Y yeah, we're just childhood friends. Uh, oh, that reminds me. I heard what Fujishima-kun said to you. If you don't mind, Shinji, I can introduce you to your potential girlfriend. What? That's a good idea. Yamabuki, you should meet her. Then Fujishima-kun won't be able to make fun of you for not having a girlfriend anymore. 
The classmate slammed my back a few times, even though we weren't even close. I wanted him to stop because it hurt. I yeah, I guess I should. I mean, I should focus on my study, but I think it would be nice if I could go on a date to take a break. I yeah, you should go on a date. To be fair, you could just make a fake girlfriend so Hujishima kun would shut up. T true. Good, Shinji. I have this one girl that I really want to introduce to you. Do you want to come and meet her this Sunday at a cafe? Okay. Hinata scheduled everything for me. I decided to improve my appearance a little before meeting the girl. Hmm, I really should get contact lenses, but I don't have any money. I asked Hinata about what I should do. Well, I don't think you have to go that far. Like, she doesn't care about appearances too much. But maybe you should cut your hair a little. I think a jacket would suit you too. I is that so? I can buy a jacket. I have some savings from my part-time job at a convenience store. I should get a haircut too. Well, you seem like you're enjoying yourself a lot. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I had fun because I only studied. Aren't you worried though? You don't know what kind of girl is coming. What are you gonna do if the girl was so aggressive? Huh? But you're the one who's introducing her to me. It's gonna be okay, right? Well, I don't know. Maybe she's gonna let you down. Let me down? Like, she isn't my type? Hmm, I guess you should just wait and see. What's your type though, if I may ask? Like, fashion-wise? Hmm, an innocent-looking dress, black hair, I like natural makeup. I said, Hinata looked a little sad. Uh, I see, so you like innocent-looking girls. Yeah, I don't get along very well with extravagant gals. Uh, okay. Maybe she was gonna introduce me to a gal, I thought. As we walked home, Hinata was quiet. The girl I was gonna introduce to you She's a little extravagant. Is it okay with you? I want her to meet you, though. Uh, it, it's gonna be okay. I mean, I don't judge people too much based on their looks. I said in panic. Uh, okay, I'll tell her to wear innocent-looking clothes, though. Well, Shinji, I'll see you tomorrow, then. Bye. Days passed, and it was Sunday. I adjusted my clothes and went out. I had never been to that cafe, but it looked like it was a stylish place. So I thought I had to make sure that my appearance was good enough. I checked myself in the mirror so many times. I never cared about my appearance this much. It should be fine. I wonder what kind of girl is coming. I shouldn't be late, I thought, and I quickened my pace. The cafe wasn't too far from my house. I opened the heavy door quietly and a waitress greeted me. For how many? A cute waitress asked me. I'm seeing someone, I said. This way, please. Th thank you. I followed the waitress. I was so nervous, and I knew I was being awkward. Ah, I'm sorry. I saw a girl's back. I wasn't late, but apparently I made her wait. I apologized and sat down. There was a girl with black hair in a pale blue, innocent-looking dress. She had a mask on and started talking. Hinata-chan won't be here. I'm sorry, but it's just me here. Apparently, she caught a cold and she didn't want us to catch it from her. Huh? Uh, well, um... The girl who was sitting in front of me was my childhood friend. Her hair color was different. Her clothes were different. But she was definitely Hinata, my childhood friend. It's you. Huh? You're Hinata, aren't you? I asked her. I knew it was Hinata. No, m my name is Akiho. Hinata-chan asked me to come here if I wanted a boyfriend. Fine, but aren't you thirsty? You should take your mask off and drink that latte. Well, I don't feel like drinking it right now. Well, I am planning to drink it before I go. I see. 
So you don't want to take that mask off right now? No, that's not what I meant. I'm telling you, it's really obvious. I know what Hinata's voice sounds like. <sighs> I've been your childhood friend for years already. You think you've disguised yourself well, but it's really, really obvious. And what about that girl? Isn't she coming? Here. Huh? She's already here, in front of you. What? I said she's sitting in front of you. Huh? I'm introducing you to a potential girlfriend as I promised. I don't understand. I thought I would introduce myself to you as your potential girlfriend because Fuzushima kun is making fun of you so much. I didn't want to do this though. W what? I can go out with you if you want. I don't want to though. Th that's rude. I hate the way you phrased it. I don't need a girlfriend just yet. I rejected her. To be honest, I wanted a girlfriend real bad. But Hinata immediately gave in. I, I want to go out with you. I've always had a crush on you. And I kind of thought that it was an opportunity for me to, you know, go out with you while making it. Like, I did it because I pitied you. Now you're honest. Let's go out. Just like that, we started going out with each other. We took such a detour though. Fujishima-kun was now jealous of me because a beauty like Hinata was my girlfriend. Shinji, just tell me that you like me. Huh? I thought you were the one who liked me. No, it's not that I like you. I'm just dating you because I pitied you for not having a girlfriend. What? We talked like that as we went home together. It didn't look like a serious relationship, but... Five years later, Hinata couldn't hold herself back any longer and brought me a marriage certificate. That's a story for another time. Thanks for watching!